Yeast is the key ingredient in beer, wine, whiskey, and pretty much every other alcohol. It's the fun guy that makes us all fun guys. <laughs> and yeast hates you! While you were patiently waiting for the perfect time to casually litter, it. Yeast was busy plotting an unholy takeover. And I'm not just referring to yeast infections. That would be a holy takeover in your vagina, your rectum, or your mouth. Even if you only have two of those, that is horrible. Do we still have to keep going with this video or is that enough proof that yeast hates you? Still want more? Good, because yeast is also going after your pets. It's called bread dough toxicosis and it's what happens when yeast from uncooked bread dough gets into your pet's stomach, causing bloating, loss of bladder control, and compromised blood flow. And that's just yeast's short game. Its long game is cloning. Yes, cloning. Yeast reproduces asexually by creating copies of itself, and now yeast is trying to make copies of us. They're called yeast artificial chromosomes, and they're how yeast helped researchers make advances in cloning technology. Advances that could someday lead to the cloning of you, man. And there is no telling what the yeast-built clone you will do. Will it take your wife, your job, your haircut, your soul? What I'm saying is when it comes to yeast, infections are the yeast of your worries. Yeast is terrifying. It's alive and you eat it, but yeast is also involved in beer making and beer is amazing. Speaking of, check out Test Tube's new show, Brew Age. It's all about beer and micro brews and yeast and making things. I mean, just go take a look for yourself. Also, please take a look at netflix.com slash NHY to get yourself a free 30-day trial of Netflix. Nothing makes a Wednesday night better than cracking open a six-pack of your favorite brew and searching endlessly on Netflix for something to watch, but never actually watching anything. Because sometimes the journey is better than the ride, is the sort of thing I'll say when I'm drunk and trying to justify why crippling indecision has prevented me from selecting a movie on Netflix. Other times, I'll say screw it and just watch another episode of The West Wing. I love you, Netflix. Subscribe or die.